at Union College. And so when we came together at Tufts University for the Innovation and Management program, it was really focused on those with science and engineering backgrounds, interested in being able to translate that technology to have a great impact in the world. So when we saw what Hojat and his team at the Nano Lab were working on, um, some really interesting technology, we saw a great impact there that can happen. Um, and so we wanted to put our minds together on how we could translate it. So we all began at Tufts University, uh, where Hojat was leading the research in Nano Lab for uh, the microneedle technology. Um, and Konstantinos and I were studying uh, innovation and management on how to translate technologies like the, uh, what's in the Hero Patch. Um, we initially started with some different business competitions um, to really get some uh, validation as well as some very early um, capital. And then it was really just networking as much as possible. Fortunately, it was uh, pre-pandemic, so we were able to go to a lot of in-person events um, and really uh, utilize the Boston ecosystem that's here. Uh, for a biotech startup, I can't think of many better places to be. Um, and from there, we were really able to meet a lot of uh, very critical advisors and investors early on um, that helped us uh, form our, our company and uh, definitely our, our value proposition as well. So I think it really starts with looking at our end goal and being able to impact patients' lives in a positive way. Each one of the founders has someone in their family that can benefit from the use of a Hero Patch product um, in one way or another. And I think it's really important that in the day-to-day -day grind to not lose sight of that, where we're focused on you know, technological developments or business goals. On top of that, there are a lot of people in the beginning, whether advisors or investors or teammates that have joined along the way um, that also believe in, in our vision. And I think it's really important that, you know, as a team, we can, we can really uh, make sure those goals are realized. So in a success story, it's easy to gloss over all of the challenges. Um, it's certainly hard to pick one specific challenge because we face them on a daily or, or weekly basis. But I think generally the theme of having a platform technology um, that can be applied to many different aspects. And it, it's essentially, it feels like a blank slate. And sometimes it's hard to really focus on what are the key problems or the most important issues that you can solve with your technology. And so I think um, early on, a lot of our advisors really helped us with this and really just getting out there and talking to people and understanding what the problems are um, and where the Hero Patch platform can be most effective. So one of the best pieces of advice, I think it was actually given to Constantinos, but we really use it as kind of a, a motto, um, is that if you're the smartest person in the room, it's time to change rooms. And we don't necessarily mean that literally, um, but really it's having the ability to surround yourselves with people that um, have specific expertise, because it's impossible, especially in something very interdisciplinary that we're working on now, to be an expert in everything. Um, so it's really surrounding yourself with those right resources and having the humility to know that you, know, you don't know all of the answers yourself. So this is the part that I get most excited about um, because it's really that milestone uh, in three to five years where we can see a Hero Patch product uh, in the hands of patients and positively affecting their lives also being able to change the healthcare economics. And I, I know that there are different stages of success, so this is a success story, but in my eyes, our real success is when we can get to the point where we're impacting the lives of the patients. So our advisors and service providers, which essentially are extension to our advisors, are absolutely instrumental in, in everything we do. Um, we try to surround ourselves with experts in, in various fields. Um, what we're working on is inherently very interdisciplinary, just from the technology side, but the business is also very complicated, and, and um, it's certainly good to have various perspectives on aspects of that. It also allows us to, to focus on the key decisions that we need to make with um, 
with a lot of information that we need to make those decisions and saves a lot of time, um, which at the end of the day is money as well. We work with Gesmer uh, specifically to work with our IP portfolio, and that has been very important, especially for a biotechnology company like this. And as a business aspect as a whole, being able to facilitate different um, introductions or resources that may be helpful for us, I think that's one great thing that, that Gesmer does in terms of being proactive um, about making sure that it's not just the direct legal services that we may need, but any other ways um, that they may be able to provide help. We go with Gesmer because we feel that there is clearly the legal expertise there, but on top of that, it's a feeling of a small firm in the sense that we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, discussion on certain thing, aspects. And specifically, since we work with our IP portfolio here, uh, making sure we get those fine details correct is absolutely critical to our business. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to learn more information, please reach out to our social media or our website, gesmer.com.